One of my most asked questions from you guys watching the videos is, Ben, please film the United Kingdom. I don't know why, but everyone seems so interested about the United Kingdom. So I figured, why not? I'm going to do it. I'm going to start from Cornwall, the southernmost point of the United Kingdom, and head up to Scotland, the northernmost point of the United Kingdom. Let's begin that journey. Kat, please take me to Cornwall. Don't you have a bus? I don't have a bus. Can you please drive me? Right, if I have to, jump in then. Let's do it. Cat to the rescue once again. All right then, we are in the car and heading towards Cornwall. Cat's behind the wheel. Please drive carefully. Well, it's careful. To be fair, Cat is a good driver. Portuguese are known for their driving skills. Anyway, it's a two hour drive to Penzance, which is deep into Cornwall. We're going to be spending the night there in a tent. And then tomorrow we're going to be meeting a subscriber. He's going to be showing me around Penzance and yeah, some hidden secrets about the place. So cats, let's go. Let's go. Next stop, Cornwall. Why is he having dog paw hanging in his back? Here in England, we hang dog shit on the back of our cars. It's sort of a tradition. See? Dog shit hanging off the back of the car. Look at the traffic heading towards Cornwall. Look at everyone. It's because anything past Cornwall is grim in England. Cornwall's paradise. Look at them all trying to get down there. I need to show you something, and that is when you cross into Cornwall, you've got to cross a bridge. So it's leaving Plymouth into Cornwall. It's called the Tamar Bridge, built in 1961. Back in my day, growing up, it used to be a quid return, one pound to go from one side to the other. Now, living in rip-off England, one of the most expensive countries in the world, two pound sixty, and there's rumors it's gonna get higher. What an absolute scam. Here it is, the Tamar Bridge, built in 1961. Let me show you outside the window. These are the Cornish roads. Look how narrow they are. You have to be tough to drive down here. I do not reverse to anyone. That's the spirit. If anyone comes, do not reverse. You've got to be hard down here. This is it. The campsite for the night. Welcome to Penzance. Get ready for arguments and pure stress. There it is, our home for the evening. Yay! <laughs> right, let's go. Welcome to Penzance Beach. Isn't it beautiful? Freezing. So cold. Look at the state of this. That's a problem in Britain. We get about two days of sunshine a year. 99.9% the rest of the time of the year. It looks like this. This is British summer at its finest. <laughs> now my camera won't show it because of the fog. But in the distance on the hill is an ancient castle, hundreds of years old. And all these boats are heading over there to have a closer look. But unfortunately, you can't see a damn thing. Maybe a little bit. See it? Ancient castle here in Penzance. Not bad, huh? No, it's just cold. So cold, it's freezing. <laughs> My God. I think we need a beer. Warm up a bit. Where's the closest one? what I'm saying, the King's Army. King's Arms. Arms, British name, let's get there. Just forward in 
Well, here it is, a Cornish pint here in Cornwall. Cat's on a half pint because you can't handle alcohol. No, I can't handle beer. She's a lightweight. Cheers. After we smash these, we're going to smash something else. It's called a pasty. Cornish cuisine. It's what they eat around here. Hello, you okay? Oh, you have a steak pasty? Uh, one, please. Takeaway? Takeaway, yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Cat's drunk after half a beer. She's fallen over the place. But that is a Cornish pasty. Look at it. It's bigger than you. Go on, give it a bite. It's <laughs> like the same size as my face. <laughs> give it a bite. Steak and potato mm. filling. Look at that, that is quality. So inside we have steak and potato filling. Gorgeous. If you don't know what a pasty is, look it up. But these things go back centuries here in the UK and here in Cornwall. They're amazing, they're cheap, they're filling. I don't think they're healthy, but they're fucking good. Cheers. This is crap, isn't it? This weather's got great. Awful. Should we leave? Yeah. Let's go. Back to the tent. Back to the tent! Oh. British summer. Well, we're back in a tent after a little mince around Cornwall. However, tomorrow we're going to get deeper into Cornwall and explore it further. Like I said, I'm meeting a local tomorrow who's going to be showing us around. In the meantime, Kat, you've had your pint, you've yeah. had your pasty. Do you want some dessert? Yeah. Can I offer you some spotted dick? What? Spotted dick. What is that? Dick that's spotted. Don't get it. <laughs> Here in England, we have a local food called spotted dick. Not what you think, it is this. So here you go, do the honours, open that up. That is a British dessert. Ooh, spotted dick. That's what it looks like. Basically a sponge cake. Go on, give it a, give it a nibble. And? It's like a cake. <laughs> there we go, we're gonna end things here. See you guys in the morning. Good night from us. Let's continue filming Cornwall tomorrow. See you in a bit. What a night. Good morning. You sleep? Good morning. How uncomfortable is it in here? Very. <laughs> Little tip for you. If you come camping, bring some sort of mattress or a pillow. Otherwise you're just lying on the floor. I use my bag as a pillow. Can't use the towel. <laughs> what a night. Anyway, we're in a rush. Got about half an hour to get out of here. So um, let's get packed up and uh, go meet the local that's going to be showing us around. Right, great news, we're back down by the beach. And look at it, the sun's out. It's super windy, hopefully you can hear me. But yeah, we're back down by the beach, sun's out, so hopefully it's gonna be a better day. Also, I've been joined by Wendell. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Another buddy Emmett come down <laughs> across the timer. You need to explain to people what an Emmett is in a minute. Okay. But um, yeah, thanks for inviting me down, mate. No worries, yeah. yeah. So what's the plan, where are we going? The plan is I'm gonna show you the real Cornwall warts and all. But first of all, how about I show you Cornwall's most famous nudist beach. Nudist beach? Yeah. <laughs> well, Kat's smiling, so she clearly wants to go to a nudist beach, but there you go. We're going to go to a nudist beach here in Cornwall. Porf Emmett Beach, a little man made sign by a local here that hates tourists. Explain. So basically, Emmett is Cornish for ant, and it's a bit of a mildly derogatory term that locals use for all the swarms, the ant-like swarms of tourists <laughs> in some 
Yeah. But that's the Cornish language. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient it's a, language. It's but, about the only Cornish word I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a dying language, mate. Yeah. But yeah, that's what an emmet means. So if you're a foreigner <laughs> or um, someone up from northern England and you come down Cornwall and you hear the word emmet, that's a, a local slagging you off, basically. That's slagging you off, yeah. yeah. See, I told you guys, when the sun's out here in Cornwall, it's one of the best places in the world. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun's out, and that is the beach we're gonna head down. Wendell said it's a nudist beach. People are clothed down there though, mate. For now, it's early. For now? Yeah. So people get a bit nude later, do they? Might do, yeah. They might do when I get down there. <laughs> Where have we gotta go? Down there? Kinda like down this valley in between these rocks, and yeah, it looks pretty scary. It does I look scary. Right. Let's commence the climb down to this beach. This is the dedication the Cornish people do in order to have a nude swim here at the beach. I say fair play to them. If they're willing to climb down rocks like this in order to get to the secret beach over there, then crack on is what I'm saying. Fair play to them. Whoa. Not bad, huh? This is the beauty of England, the hidden beauty. A lot of you probably think England is just pure council estates and, you know, run down towns and cities. And to be honest, it is. That's pretty much 90% of it. But there are some beautiful places. And here in Cornwall, prime example right here. What a place. Now, this is a nudist beach, like I said. However, no one is nude, so we're fine. We're good to film. So I've got to watch my step around here. That is steep. Let's get down there. <laughs> you wouldn't think you were in the UK, would you? No, mate. Yeah. Like I was saying up there, people think the UK is just city after city, town after town. Yeah. It is, but then you've got the hidden beauty like this. You've got to get off the beaten track. You've got it, mate. You've this got is it. as far west as you can get in the UK as well. Yeah. Yeah. And every time, I've been down like many times, but once you get down to this beach, it's just, it's it's just stunning, mate. special. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Kat? I think it's nice. The sunset here should Beautiful. be nice. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Right, we're back in the car. That was the lovely side of Cornwall. And I'll be honest, Cornwall looks like that in many places. Stunning, hidden beauty everywhere you look. However, there are parts of Cornwall which you probably don't expect. Wendell, where are we going? We're going to Camborne, mate. Show Campbell. you the real Cornwall. The real Cornwall? Why? Yeah. Why is it the real Cornwall? It's where all the real locals are, mate. There's, um, there's, there's little hidden pockets of poverty in Cornwall. Um, Parts of Cornwall are some of the poorest areas in Western Europe, and uh, Camborne's like the epicentre of all that. Blimey. So that's where we're going. We're going to Camborne to hopefully meet some characters and see how life is there in a different side of Cornwall, which you probably don't expect. Well, this is Camborne, here in Cornwall. I've never been here before. It's a bit run down, I'll be honest, but we're gonna have a little walk around. Oh, broken window. <laughs> it was me fighting last night. <laughs> What's the plan there, mate? We are gonna go around and show people the real Cornwall. The this real the Cornwall. Real folks hang out. This is not the most salubrious part of Cornwall, but there are some good, interesting people too. So wish us luck. We're gonna walk around and uh, hopefully talk to some people. Let's do it. Excuse me, are you from Camborne? Yeah. We're originally, originally. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm asking, I'm not from here. And I'm going around asking the locals the three best things about Camborne and the three worst things. The three worst things, there's a dump. There's a dump? There's a dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's another two worst things? I don't know, the only one I know is a dump. All okay. The decent, all the decent pubs are gone. All, all the decent pubs are gone. So this is not a decent pub? Yeah, it used no, to be, used to be. Right. It's all right. Used yeah, to be. It's all right. And the, Wagner, the best one is a Wagner's up the middle of the street. The one, then the Wagner's. 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 That's pretty good. Wagner's. And we got 
Weatherspoon's over there. How much for a pint these days down there? Weatherspoon's the cheapest in the... the cheapest. In the, the ten clock there. Well, the cheapest not always the best, is it? No, no, that no. Is true. no. That's true. That's why the weak stuff. Well, oh. you can, <laughs> well, you can try Toyak's over there. Toyak's over there. Toyak's Hotel in there. Toyak's Hotel. They got, they got a bar in there. Awesome. And they do meals in there as well. And it's cheap? I don't know about the food, I don't know. Awesome, we'll go there in a minute. Thank yeah, you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for speaking. Thank Take you. care. Bye right, bye. Nice bye, -bye. Nice you. Right. So here it is. Here is your typical little small town here in Cornwall. I like it. It's got a good community feel. And there we go. Another pasty shop, which I showed you yesterday. There's the same man again. That's one of our local pasty shops. Yeah? Yeah. Cheap in there for a pasty? Oh, yeah. bad. Yeah, a couple of quid. Four we'll quid. Pay, we'll pay 50 for a pasty in there. Not too bad. Not All right, mate. Bad. See, friendly people here in Camborne. Let's continue. Let's get a few more interactions. Cat, how are you looking, Camborne? That one's a haddock. Are you guys from here? Uh, from Camborne, yeah. Can I ask you the three best things about Camborne? I'm, ask I'm not from here, I'm from Plymouth. One best thing. One best thing. <laughs> I don't know. All right, the three um, worst things. Three worst things. Uh, no, don't know about that either. No? No. No worries, mate. But the fish is good. Uh, yeah, the fish is good. There you but go. That's not from Campbell. Oh, that's is it not? That's from Paul Oh, right, yeah. there you go. <laughs> well, th 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 this <laughs> town ain't the best town to be around at all. What's the three best uh, things about no, Campbell? No, no, the best. Now no, no, you're asking something uh, strange. The three best things in Campbell. There, there is some good people in Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendly people. Yeah, yeah but there is a lot of dickheads. A lot of dickheads. Yeah, you're going to get that wherever you go. Yeah. He's always got an excuse. If you've got an open can, they'll give you a fine. And... What, the old bill? Yes, Thompson. Yeah, it's always the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one person. He, he, I don't know if he hates Campbell or, or hates everybody. The same, the same old bill comes down here? Same old bill, yeah. So he's a job's worth. He's a job, yeah. You've yeah. got, you got to watch him every minute because he can pop up. Is he under, undercover? No, because everyone knows him. He sticks out like the, the Roger the Rabbit. You know? ah, he, he, right. he sticks out, but he don't mind wearing his clothes and then he's got his camera and then he can try and provoke yeah, 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 you to nick you. No, there's not many positives. If there's two positives, I'd love to give you three positives. Let's try and find them. Yeah. yeah. Let's try and find some positives. Let's try and find some positives. What was your name, sorry? Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean, mate. Thanks for talking to us, okay? Appreciate that. Have a good day, okay? Thank you, mate. Thank you. It's a bit random. I'm making a video about Camborne. I don't know if I'll, you can ask, answer some questions. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah? I'm, the I like, I'm the turkey man of Camborne, so. Yeah? I like your hat, mate, by the way. Thank you very much. What is it? It's the turkey. I'm the turkey man. The turkey man? Yeah, yeah. I raise money for cancer. Oh, all right. I do. Six years. Nice, mate. Oh, you've got stuffed. Turkey man of Camborne. Yeah, doing it for six years. I've got a ride on turkey as well. Nice, mate. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. TikTok? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? What's your name on TikTok? So I can make yeah. How much do you like try to raise? Um, well, at the moment, obviously, I'm doing my challenge of 100,000 steps in a month. I've done that in 12 days. Yeah. Um, I've done all my counts yesterday. Obviously, it ends on the thing. I'm on 280,900 something. Fucking hell. Good yeah. man. And obviously, because my nephew got diagnosed when he was two. Yeah. And then obviously, his favorite um, animal was a monkey or a turkey. Yeah. So I started doing videos on YouTube for him while he's going through chemo. You're a hero, well, the hero of Camborne. I'm, I'm something. Well, well, Good man, mate. Yeah. Fair yeah. play. I am who I am, and I'm different, and I like to be different. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and I'm pretty much everyone. If I walk through town, everyone knows who I am. By everyone now. knows everyone around here. It yeah, seems. I yeah. love it because it's such a like because I'm originally from London, and I moved down here from Essex. So yeah. obviously, my lingo is a lot different to most people's. And yeah, obviously, working London in retail, I'm like a ginger yeah. delboy. So it's just like no, ginger delboy. Yeah, I can sell anything. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like when I go down to town, if I go into shops, and it's like, you're right, Turk, or you're right, Turkey man. It's just like all the kids go, oh, it's the chicken man. Cool, man. Because it looks yeah. like Turk and um, chicken man. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the parking room for next door. Are you happy? Yeah, you yeah. happy to do that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's Turkey Man. Yeah. He'll get it. <laughs> He'll sort yeah, it out. I'm always about. It's unmissable. 
What's your Instagram? Let me get my phone oh, out. I've got Instagram yet. You haven't got it? You no, get on it, yet. mate. I'm not yet. I'm only on YouTube and I'm only on TikTok. At YouTube. The moment. So and YouTube, I'm on the Turkey Man. Yeah, and I'm on Facebook, the Turkey Man as well. Nice, so, mate. Yeah, because that's where I do my, like, my fundraising ones. And that's why I bought the barcode so people can scan it. So you can scan that and donate right yeah. now. Right, I'll yeah, do it for you right now, mate. Literally, you can scan. and then Just take a photo of it? I haven't got a clue how they work. Just give in. I'm not. Oh, there you go. There's you. And then straight on there. I literally I'll get my secretary to send you some money. There you go. Fair play, mate. Hey, nice to talk to you, all right? Nice to talk to Good you. Good luck to you. You'll see me around town. There needs to be more people like you, mate, doing oh. things for the community. Thank so. you. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a selfie? And I'll Listen, yeah. Turkey yeah. Man's charity is linked below. Donate what you can. He's a good man here in Campbell and he's doing good deeds. So, um, Turkey Man, legend. I'll, I'll put it in the video, all right? So, yeah, hopefully, you, you raise more money. Someone, go to Zanadu. Xanadu, yeah, I'll go there now. To, speak to Jackie and say the Turkey man sent you. Awesome, mate. Nice to meet you, okay? Thank Good you. luck. Thanks, right, Turkey nice Cheers, mate. All the best. Wow, the legend of Camborne. So he's told us to now go down to Xanadu to meet another local. I've got no idea what Xanadu is. Yeah, some like shop. He said a hippie shop. Okay. So like I said, guys, um, Turkey Man's charity is in that description. Click it, donate if you can. Top man. Well, here we go. The place where Turkey Man recommended. Xanadu here in Cam Camborne. It looks like they sell random things. They sell Ouija boards. Ouija boards, loads of hippie stuff. Just pop in, apparently a lady called Jackie works here. Oh! There's a dog in here. Hello. Yeah. Is he friendly? Yeah. I'm just taking a chance. Yeah. <laughs> it's a killer. Don't you? Yeah. Are you okay there, lads? Who's right? Jackie? Are you Jackie? Uh, sorry? Jackie. Uh, not in. The turkey man sent me here. Not in. No, not in? In the pub. Ben. Yes, mate, how are you? Oh, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Making a video about Camborne. <laughs> about Camborne, of yeah. all the places. I know, mate. There's content here. There's content in Camborne. Yeah. Are you from here? I am, yeah. Yeah, I like I it. It's I good, mate. Admit. <laughs> Where's good to go, then? Good in Camborne? Yeah. Where is good to go in Camborne? Weatherspoons? Depends on what you want. Yeah. Weatherspoons. <laughs> well, we spoke to Turkey Man, and... Um, where else have we, who else have we spoke to? Some drunk people. <laughs> Fair few drunk people. And we've yeah. come, we've come to see Jackie. Yeah. You two got there. Cameras, mate. Camera, mate, yeah. yeah. Hey, we're not, hey, we don't want paparazzi in here, do we? Yeah, it's just friendly. <laughs> we have to charge. <laughs> nah, mate, it's all good. Hey, it's a turkey man sent you, Dad. We don't want you in here. <laughs> <laughs> is he a wrong and the turkey man? I've heard nothing but good things about him, but... <laughs> I, he's, he's all right. <laughs> wow, what a cool little place. Some decent people here in Campbell. I actually really like it. Unfortunately, it's come to an end. We need to get going. I need to get back to Plymouth. Tomorrow, I begin a treacherous journey up north. So, Pat, thanks for joining me in uh, Camborne. You're welcome. Wendell, top man, mate. Oh, it's been a pleasure to have you down, mate. Yes, mate. Yeah. I've enjoyed it, to be fair. Yeah. Wendell's also got YouTube. He's going to post this video before me, so check it out before you see this one. And um, I'll link that below, along with Turkey Man's charity. But, um, donate to Turkey Man, that's a good cause. Yeah. yeah, donate to Turkey Man. We've just sent him some money, so do the same. And yeah, let's get back to the car, get to Plymouth, and continue UK's greatest trip.